Hey y'all, hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the video, Love Bugs. It is your host, Queen Blama City. And we are back, y'all, for another YouTube reaction video on Peach McIntyre, y'all. Peach McIntyre is live on TikTok. We are getting ready to watch and react to her TikTok live, y'all. She was on here talking about how Wood was an alcoholic and how she sold his jewelry and how she lost $80,000 in one night gambling. And the reason Wood stopped drinking so much is because she sold his jewelry and he was scared he was going to beat her up. So he said, let me stop not drink tonight because I'm going to go in here and beat this H.O. up. And then the next night, I'm not going to drink because I'm really going here and beat her up until where she says that he doesn't drink at all whatsoever now. Y'all hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to hit the screen share, and we're going to get on into it. Hit play. All right, so now I'm dead. I'm biggity, 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 I'm just talking to y'all for free. Y'all know you don't make no money when you go live on TikTok. You only make it if you get gifts. All right. Um. Hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? Be sure to hit a like. You like for your girl. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. So her stuff shut down, y'all, and she decided to go live on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. I don't know if she went on Instagram, but we're watching the TikTok live. So we um, stating that I lost $81,000 in one night gambling. Um, my husband knows about it and my family members, some of my family know about it, but the public, I've never told people like, oh, I lost 81 grand in a fucking night gambling. Never. So I have compul a compulsive gambler's addiction where when I'm in a casino, I don't know how to leave. When I win, no matter how big the win is, how big the win is is never enough. And when I lose, I chase my losses. I feel like I could immediately make it back. I will sacrifice other things in order to gamble. So that's when I realized, like, oh, this is getting out of control. When I lost $81,000, it didn't feel like it got out of control still because I had so much money. Like, it wasn't a big deal. Like, I made that. That ain't no money, no big deal. But now, like after you stop making money like that, you realize like that's a lot of money. That's you can't be losing like that, you know. So I have lost thousands of dollars playing cards, even when it comes to me selling my cards. So for those of you who don't know, I bought my Infinity QX50 cash. It was like forty-seven thousand dollars cash, and after one night, I had lost like I want to say eighteen thousand dollars in a night. That was like my first time losing really, really big like that. I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I lost $18,000 cash. Like, oh my God, what the fuck was I thinking? That was my first biggest loss. Um, that's when I decided, okay, I'm going to sell my car. I hate my car. I'm going to sell my car to get my uh, savings back how it was, put this money back. And that's when I sold my identity. I made a video and everything. When I sold it, I just never posted it. So the same way I made a video when I bought the car, I made a video when I sold it. I just never posted it. Um, I didn't tell anybody, but my husband, so he had to come pick me up. Eventually, my mama them found out that they came. To I don't believe she sold that car. I don't think she purchased her car cash. I think that car was repossessed because she didn't make the payment because she was addicted to gambling. Like that's what I think. Because child buy, I don't think she sold that dang on car. I was letting the sale work that much, so I didn't give a fuck. Looking back at it, I, I wish I would have slowed down at that point, but I didn't. I still kept gambling. Now, you know how they say hindsight is 2020. I realized like I was gambling like that to escape my reality. I didn't like my life at that time. Even though I had all this money, my marriage was in a horrible place. I wasn't with my kids as much as I used to be. It was just a lot, a lot of negativity on the internet, always getting attacked. 
on the internet trying to figure out how to cope. I just used to go gamble to escape my reality. I could just be in a casino and I don't have to deal with my husband, my marital issues. I don't have to deal with my kids and see how the effects of me being an absent parent is affecting me. But now that I'm like not gambling right now, today is day 55 of me not gambling. It's like a clearer vision. And this time I actually want to stop. I'm still not stopping for good. I'm going to be very honest with y'all about that. I still do plan on gambling again. And I do know the risk of me gambling again. Like in Gambler, it's anonymous. They let us know, hey, if you decide to gamble again, what they call it is experimental betting. A lot of people will stop gambling for 90 days or longer, two months, a month, a week, or a year. Some people stop for 10 years, 20 years, and they go back. They feel like they have a control of it. Like we have control of it. Um, because I took a break. I, I'm in control, right? And then you go out and you do what they call experimental betting. And the next thing you know, you back at square one. And I know that that is true because that just happened to me. I stopped gambling for like 72 days, two and a half months. Still didn't make it to 90 days, but like two and a half months, I stopped gambling. And when I went back, it felt like I had control over it. I just was selling them on TikTok. When I went back to gambling, and like 11 days, I made $50,000, a little bit over 50 grand. And then two days, I lost all the shit back. So it's like, <laughs> that's how out of control gambling can get if you are a compulsive gambler. Now, there are people who can gamble and they strictly can do it for fun. Like, it's not an issue for them. They know, like, my budget to gamble is $1,000. Once this $1,000 is gone, I'm done. There are people in the world that's like that, or my budget to gamble is $20. Once I lose these $20, I'm going home. I'm not going to sacrifice my bill money. I'm not going to touch my savings, my retirement. I'm not going to touch any of that. So gambling is still fun for certain people. But for me, it's like all logic is going out the window. I don't give a fuck. You know, like I'm just going to gamble. I don't care about the risk or the consequences. It also makes you a liar, you're sneaking, you're being dishonest with your significant other, you're being dishonest with your kids. Like I had even started lying to my husband instead of like, let's say I'm going to the casino and my husband be like, did you win? And I know I lost, I'll just stop by the bank and get some money out. Be like, yeah, I won, look at all this money I won. And I was lying like a bitch, like, bitch, I lost 10 bands, bitch. I ain't gonna tell him I lost 10 grand, you gonna go ballistic. So, um, you know, now I'm honest with everybody it's like out on the table and that's one of the best feelings ever like, like even when i went to my gamblers anonymous um meeting there were people there with their whole family and there were people like talking about how they were exposed like one boy was like he went to his friend house and when he went to his friend house his mama daddy his wife and all his friends everybody who he'd been lying to all were there like an intervention and everything was just laid out on the table hey i'm back gambling i don't lost this amount of money I borrow this from this person, I give this to this person, and it's on the table. And they're like, hey, we're going to get you some help. So I thought that that was beautiful that they did have support. All right, now I'm going to look at y'all questions. Does this class help with becoming a content creator? Yes. So if you want to become a content creator and you don't know what you're doing at all, my $35.35 social media bundle um, will definitely be beneficial. It's five, uh, five videos to help you get started on your content creator journey. It's going to teach you how to edit from your smartphone, how to do your YouTube thumbnail, how to upload YouTube and get views, how to do Facebook, and how to do TikTok. So you get five videos. These videos are a year old, but they are still relevant to a beginner. For those of you who are more advanced creators and you're monetized on Facebook with the performance bonus, you guys can still buy my performance bonus video, but now it's going to be $65 instead of $50. But what if you don't have followers? I teach you how to get followers. Remember, guys, I started on all platforms at zero, just like you guys. I stopped for a year. I'm fine. My feelings is that the casino isn't going anywhere. I stopped because I was spending all my bill money, but I will be going back to the casino. Great job, Miss Diane. So, yeah, it's okay to take a break. Um, I feel good. I feel like I got control over this now. Like, okay, this isn't controlling me anymore. I have been to the casino one time with my husband, well, actually I'm lying, because when I first decided to stop, I went twice with my husband and didn't gamble, like day one and day two, I went with him and I didn't gamble, then I stopped going completely, day, I think 41 is when I went to the casino, that was the day when I was like, fuck that, I'm finna gamble, 
and I still didn't gamble. So I'm proud of myself on that day 55. Um, you know, we get in a, we get in a, we're getting there. So I'm happy about that. Um, can you do a credit repair class? No, I just saw my do-it-yourself credit repair kit. Why is Facebook money down? So Facebook money isn't down for everyone. It's down for me because I'm shadow banned. I've been shadow banned on Facebook for over a year. So like when I post a video on Facebook, it might get between 500 and 3,000 views. Versus that same video, I put it on YouTube, it might get between 22,000 and a million. I put it on TikTok, it might get anywhere between 20,000 and a million. On Instagram, it might get between 500,000 and a million. So like each platform is different. That's how I know that I'm shadow banned on Facebook. They used to tell me like, hey, Nisha, we're going to uh, lower your post. We're going to take you out the feed for 30 days, for 90 days, depending on what kind of trouble I'm in. Now they don't tell me that. I just know like, oh, I'm shadow banned. Um, thank you so much. Any questions for me over here on TikTok? I play fish tables. I lost a lot of money. It is so addictive. It is, but you can gain control over it. So one thing that helped me this time with not gambling is I just keep telling myself, self-discipline. Self-discipline is doing what you should do when you should do it, even when you don't feel like it. And I just keep telling myself that in every area of my life. I also see the benefits of me being more present with my kids, uh, being more present at home, being more present in my business. I see all of the good benefits from it. Now, I am going to return to gambling after 90 days or on day 90. I'm going to return to gambling. So anytime after April 13th, I will be back gambling. Um, is there a way to ask questions if we have extra questions outside of social media bundles? Yes, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me. Right now, my one-on-one is $1,389 for one hour. Um, thank you. I wonder if deactivating the account and reactivating it will help. No, it won't. And I wouldn't do that because I have more than one Facebook page in the um the programs. So I have multiple <laughs> I have multiple Facebook pages, but the views are down on all of them. I've been shadow banned for over a year, almost two years now. So the low money you posted has nothing to do with not being active, but because you're shadow banned, correct. That's what I keep telling everybody. I'm shadow banned. I have a cousin that made $47,000 last month on Facebook, utilizing what I taught. Um, my husband is monetized on Facebook. Wood makes more money than me on Facebook. So you can still make more money, but um, Facebook is a lot more challenging. There are a lot of creators on the platform now, so you have a lot of competition. And the money ain't as sweet as it used to be. Like, it's not as easy. But there are people still making thousands of dollars. Do you make most of your money on Facebook when you're shadow banned or YouTube? Good afternoon, Peach. I wouldn't be making much money if I'm shadow banned, guys. Dang, how well do you fight it? How well do I fight what? I just bought it. Okay, so if you guys want to buy my social media bundle, all you do is cash out $35.35 to my husband's cash out, dollar sign Wood Express. It'll say Gregory Underwood. It will just like what's behind me. And then right here in the four line, make sure you add your email address. If you forget your email address, then I will fully refund you and you can resend it. Um, you have to keep your goals in view. They took your performance bonus away. No, they did not. I just got here, but how do you get shadow banned? For whatever reason, typically, um, if you do something that goes against community standards, like for me, I cuss people out. So my mouth is how I get shadow banned. <laughs> just like on TikTok, I get a show on TikTok if I cuss people out. I can get in trouble for that, right? So if I'm live and I start cussing people out, I can get in trouble and I can't go live for seven days. I lose the money that I earned during my live, et cetera. I'm thinking about becoming a content creator. Buy my social media bundle is $35.35. If you go back to gambling after 90 days, ain't that a relapse? That defeats the purpose. No, it's not a relapse. That's a choice. I'm choosing. And that was I was wondering the same thing because I've been looking back and forth to see if she was live, but she hasn't been live and i'm like oh dang she must have then got blocked again so she's unblocked right now y'all she trying to be good so she can make that TikTok money also i always shit start going back down i'm gonna stop gambling again i have self-control and self-discipline i'm going to see and they call it experimental gam experimental gambling 
And um, Gamblers Anonymous, they teach us it's very rare. It's a rare group of people that can stop gambling, learn their lesson, and become self-disciplined where they can go back to normal. It's a very small percentage of people that could do that. The other people, they could never do that. With me, um, I know for a fact that I will be a part of that very small percentage. And everything I do, I'm in the top 10%, maybe top 3%. I got off Section 8 voluntarily after being successful. Only 3% of people will ever get off of Section 8 or public housing. Only 3% of the population that's on it. And out of that 3%, and this is according to 2015 data, y'all can look up new rates, uh, new results. But um, only 3% will get off, and only 1% of that 3% will get off voluntarily. I did that, all right? Um, even with me having seven kids and not being on any government assistance at all, that's a rarity. I have seven children. I'm Black, an African-American female, born low income. I do not get any government assistance at all. That's a rarity. How many people are monetized on YouTube and they have over a half a million followers? A lot, but not many, okay? So I already know that I'm a rare commodity. So anything I put my mind to, I can do it. Of course, I'm going to need extra support. At times, I have to read extra books. I have to go to support groups. I have to do things of that nature. But I feel like when I, let me change that. I know when I go back to gambling this time, I will be more self-disciplined. I will have a gambler's budget, and I will stick to that gambler's budget. I used to do that all the time, all right? I heard you can make money just by watching a video for hours. It's a website. I forgot what it is. Okay. Um, how do you get more followers? Buy my social media bundle. Congrats on day 55. I know it's hard. However, I'm proud of you. I know a few people that gamble. You got this. Thank you, Alex. I know functioning crackheads. They go to work, take care of their families during the week, but only do rocks on the weekends. That's self-control. Correct. That's self-control. That's them and their addiction. You guys know everybody has a vice. People don't like to say gambling is a vice, but everybody has some type of addiction. I don't do drugs of any kind. Never have. I don't drink, never have, okay? Um, that's just not my personality. And that's okay. I could sit on here and call some of y'all alcoholics and sex addicts and things of like that and talk bad about you, but I don't. Give me that same kind of respect. For those of you who want to do that, I can't control you. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do on the internet. But I'm telling you, as a grown adult with my own choices, after day 90, I may choose to gamble. That is on my mind that I'm going to gamble after day 90. If I decide to do that, it's absolutely okay. It's my money. If it gets out of control again, it's absolutely okay. It is my life. I'm choosing to be transparent and share it with you. I don't have to. I can close this uh, curtain at any time. Anytime I feel like saying, oh, this is enough. I don't want to talk about it. I won't. I do it all the time. I'll show you a part of my life, and you'll think you got all the rights to it, and then I never talk about it again. And y'all be like, is you still doing blah, blah, blah? What happened with blah, 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 and I never say shit else. That is my choice as a human being. We all have those choices. So enjoy the fact that I am being transparent. And with me being transparent, it's not for views and it's not for everybody. It's for those who need it. Like I just said, I met a lady. That's how I got on this topic. When I just was um, at home good shopping for my comforter and stuff, the lady was saying, hey, peaches. And I said, you know, hey, but I didn't think she really said my name. I thought, like, maybe I'm over here and stuff bringing my stuff up and she was like my sister just love you and I said oh you know who I am I thought you said hey peaches but I wasn't sure she was like yes girl I had a little thing going on with rock, hard rock too so I know how it is and I said oh really I said I'm on day 55 you know um it's a beast it is and she was like yeah I'm on three weeks you inspired me to stop going to the casino like I'm gonna go back but I'm on three weeks I'm trying to do 90 days you know, you know like you so it's like my videos, when I'm very transparent, it's for those people. It's not for those of you who are here to judge. It's not for those of you who are here to just have something to bash me with. It's not for you. Me being transparent is not for you. I don't give a fuck about you. It's for those who have an issue with gambling and they want to stop or they like feeling alone. Okay, here I am, a whole YouTube creator, a whole person who done made over a million dollars and I done lost hundreds of thousands at the casino. I don't make bad financial decisions. Um, I have a compulsive gambling addiction. I'm admitting it. And I'm showing them what it's like for me. So they feel less alone. They know that help exists. They know that if Peach McIntyre can stop, 
They could stop. I got somebody that text me every now and then. She's like, Peaches is day, blah, blah, blah for me. You got this. I got this. I'm doing this with my kids today. Like, you know, it motivates them. It's inspiring. Same thing with my video yesterday. A lot of you guys like to take that video from yesterday and look like, oh, Peach is bashing uh, e Kane when I said I used to be dirty like e Kane. But it was totally opposite. It wasn't me bashing e Kane. It was me relating to where she currently is in her life. Um, I feel like when she said her feelings was hurt, her feelings was genuinely hurt. Yes, she's a funny person, but I know my feelings used to be hurt too. I didn't want to be dirty, so I'm just sharing tips on what happened with me. What worked for me was for me to, one, stop calling myself dirty, stop being like, oh, I'm dirty, oh, well, I'm dirty, I'm dirty, I'm dirty. I don't say that anymore. Now I say, I'm clean, I am clean, I am clean, I am clean. And then after that, what do I do to manifest that I am clean? To um, make that positive affirmation, I'm clean, become a reality. I make my bed every day. I have a cleaning routine. I go ahead and give my children um, age-appropriate chores, which was hard. And when I talked about that in that video, I talked about how I struggled with like giving my kids chores based on me feeling like I grew up a childhood slave. I'm working through all of these traumas and I'm choosing to do it on camera. God damn, I'm courageous, you know? So I love being, I love being like that. It don't be for views. I'm gonna get views regardless. It's for what I like to do, educate and elevate. And then also for some of y'all who just like to see a train wreck, it's entertaining. It is what it is. It's okay to admit that you have an addiction, but fooling yourself into thinking you can return to gambling with self-control is the addiction talking. No, it's not. That's Peaches McIntyre talking. Listen, you're not going to sit up here and speak to me, baby. This is me talking. Peaches McIntyre, a whole human with her own brain, is telling you out of her own mouth, I will return to gambling after April 13th, 2024. And when I return to gambling, I will have self-control. I will have a gambler's budget. I will be back gambling on my gambling channel, Gamble with Peach. I am rare. Just like y'all hoes told me that I was going to have a set that because I had a C-section and I was up moving and all that stuff, driving myself, cooking, cleaning, getting my hair done, taking showers, just like I did all that, I'm going to do the shit again. All right? Did I have a setback? Nope. Am I okay? Yep. Y'all. Child, so Peach McIntyre then got unblocked on TikTok just to come on here and act like a know-it-all. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Like, girl. Really, Peach? Really, Peach? Dang, can anybody teach you anything other than love Dorsey? Girl, bye. Something is seriously wrong with you. You need help, for real. Y'all hit that like button on the way out. I'm about to get up out of here, love bugs. I will talk to y'all in our next reaction video. Bye, y'all.